going to be episode number four. And last week, we left you guys here boondocking by Granby, Colorado. It was a beautiful spot. So quiet last night. We weren't bothered by anybody. Really surprising because this forestry road is just outside of the town of Granby. In fact, we're only about a quarter mile away from a residential neighborhood right here. We did not see a lot of people, and in fact, you can see there's a lot of open spots left up here on this road. Normally, we'd have to drive 15, 16 miles of dirt roads before we come to a two-track forestry road, and we follow that for a few miles. This is just right outside of town, so it's a very cool spot. My suggestion is if you guys come up to Colorado this year, call ahead to a forestry service department. Make sure that the area you want to come to is going to be open. There was a lot of places that we found are closed because of last year's forest fires. Trailheads, campgrounds, forestry roads, 90% of the stuff we saw was closed. It didn't stop us from having a good time. I really enjoyed it. I will definitely be back. If you guys come this year, definitely give a call ahead and make sure that it's all open. Get back to this We are just leaving the Medicine Bow National Forest and this is just gorgeous out here. I've never been here. I think that this might actually be even better than the mountains we were just in. This is incredible. Gorgeous. I need to come back and spend about a week just exploring this area. the cool old town Buffalo Gap. Let's look at some of these buildings. So we can't make it through the interior, um, the reservation as the road's closed off still. So we stopped in Buffalo Gap to take some photos and we're still going to try and get to the wall and maybe see the scenic overlook yet. We'll know if you guys see it.
good morning. We had a nice night out here, very quiet last night. The wind can pick up on these prairies. It almost rocks you to sleep. This place, gorgeous, just the same as anything else we've seen the last few days. Definitely different, but gorgeous, just the same. It does not look like this site gets a whole lot of use. It's actually really clean and uh, yeah, I'm glad that we made it here. If you're ever in this area and you do a lot of boondocking, I think if you find that the wall is packed and too full, I think you should check this place out. In fact, there's a couple antelope right down this fence line. I don't know if you can see that far down. There's three antelope down there. We got woken up this morning by a bunch of, I don't know what they are, I'll call them prairie grouse, um, making all kinds of noise this morning. Let me show you what this is, where, what it looks like. So yeah, absolutely alone. I love it. So why did the bird scare you this morning when you woke up? <laughs> when you opened the door? Because well, I was I was just trying to peek and see what kind of animal was out there because I didn't know what it was, and then all of a sudden they just they were really close to the camper and they flew up and it just whoosh, and I was like oh <laughs> scary there's a whole flock of them how many do you think there was maybe like six eight of them did they look threatening shut up. <laughs> So where we're going now is the scenic overlook outside of Wall, South Dakota. And this is what started the whole boondocking thing. I found this place by watching other YouTubers. Came here a couple of years ago and absolutely loved camping in undesignated camping spots. We, we stay away from campgrounds, paid sites. We like to find places that are just scattered around on public land. And this was one of the first ones that I found. So I'm gonna take you guys out there, show you what it looks like, and show you why this is the way I prefer camping. So years ago when we pulled in here, it used to have a gate uh, that you'd have to open up by hand and just a wire gate and you'd close it behind you. Over the years, I think because of the amount of people shooting this on YouTube, it's gotten a lot more popular. We used to be able to come out here and there would be nobody here. Today is a weekday and it looks like it's pretty full and most of the spots are taken. We're gonna find out though. We're just stopping by for lunch. We're not gonna spend the night here tonight. So this for me is how it all started. The whole boondocking thing. It is just gorgeous. Where else can you park this close to the edge? Oh my god, wait till you guys see this view. This is gorgeous. Yeah, so we stayed at a truck stop. Which I don't mind at all. I'd rather stay here than have to pay for a campsite.
does it smell like potty in here? <laughs> like potty? It smells like potty. Probably because you took a big poo. Oh no. Marshall, Minnesota. Probably the last time I have to fill gas. Well, we finally made it back home. Last few days have been great. I would definitely recommend if you go to Colorado this summer, call ahead, make sure that uh, the, the parks are gonna be open because of that wildfire. It quit raining a little bit later in the evening and we're pulling in pretty late. So I think we're gonna end the video right here. So thanks for sticking around this whole time. Remember, be kind. Be honest, we'll see you down the road.